Hello, 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 hello there. Uh, it's another moment again that we are glad to meet again, to have you meet again uh, into this uh, wonderful episode, wonderful part of uh, Tuesday Class Job Market, where we are going to talk about episode 7. Now, previously we handled episode 6 from part 1 up to part 7. That episode was all about the interview. Now we have finished the interview, though we said the interview is so wide, is so big that we cannot finish, but the little we gave, the little I gave as a tutor, I'm very sure that even you, you are doing much of research on your own to make sure that at least you feel on the remaining part of that. Today we are moving on to the next episode, episode 7, maybe it might also into parts, but let's introduce a new episode, the remaining part we will handle and do uh, research and maybe bring more videos concerning that because we cannot do one thing fully. So before we, con uh, we continue, uh, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, this is a platform where we share the Tuesday class plus job market talks about getting employment or getting connected to a place whereby you can get a little income to help you sort out your bills. How do you get these sources of income? How do we create our self-employment? How do we uh, apply for jobs and get the jobs and apply for them? Then how do we go to interview? How do we conduct ourselves for the interview? Then how do we retain the jobs when we got that opportunity? That's all about that. So if you have been wondering or suffering on how to get such a platform, this is the right place. Make sure you follow me in my social media platforms. Facebook, I'm called Andedo Mark. That's Facebook account. Facebook page is called Common Sense Isn't Common. If you search on that, you will get me there. Be my follower because I update it almost every day with new items, with new videos and new uh, writings. Then YouTube is Andedo Mark. Search Andedo Mark. I have a lot of videos there, a lot of comments there. You can also add your comment. Please don't just search and leave it like that. Make sure you watch one of the videos you want. Then like, comment, you share. But mostly don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button. Personalize it so that every time I upload something, you will be notified. Otherwise, let's get going. Today we are handling a part called personal statement and this one came from one of the my fan or one of the viewers who came out at the part of writing the CV. Remember when we are writing the CVs I said at the top there apart from the personal details there is what we call a personal statement or the opening statement or a remark. You know it's, it's, it's a hit star. It's a catchy, catchy statement that really introduces these hire or employer into looking at your CV and looking it well. So it's a summary of what really you contain and a convincing statement that will really make somebody choose on you rather than any other person. So that is the part that I've picked and put out so that it also comes at our own. Some employers or like these, some of the UN jobs, huh, I've realized some of the these UN jobs or branches of UN like the UNESCO, you know, if you apply them, uh, you apply for them for the vacancies. There is a portion they tell you, apart from the cover letter, also put your personal statement. So in such cases, they are needed. What is this personal statement? It is the output of the part of the CV. In CV, there's a summary, but part of statement as a personal statement can be written as its own and sent as a special document to the hirer or to the employee. From this platform also, we will learn what type of personal statement can be uh, called for. Or do we have different types of personal statement or we only have one personal statement? The right answer is yes, we do have different types of personal statement. Really, personal statement talk about the real personal details and qualification and the convincing words to make the hirer identify on you, but it depends with uh, where is it headed to. 
we can write personal statement for the colleges. For example, you want to change the course from one course to another, from one school to another, one university to another. It is wise of you to have a personal statement convincing that deans of students or the lecturer or the head of that department as the reason as to why you feel you are more qualified to do a certain course rather than an even course. So through your personal statement, he will be able or she will be able to routinize your capabilities, then you will be accepted or a college or a university. It's like an entry point of view. Apart from writing application letter, you also write personal statement. Then you can write the employment, uh, employment statement as employee, apart from your CV, apart from cover letter, some employers call for the personal statement. Then number three, we can have the managerial or the leadership kind of statement. Apart from being employed, as a leader, you have your special personal statement. Because remember, personal statement more also talk of your skills, abilities, experiences, and maybe challenges, and personalities what you are looking forward to in a few years to come. So the visions or the targets or the goals for a leader might be different from the goals of just a normal staff. So that's why we have a special case for the leadership or managerial personal statement. Then we can have the fresher the graduate, freshly graduate from the high school. You know, compared to your skill and experiences, you cannot match such a person that has existed outside the market or inside the market, apart from school, maybe five to ten years ago. This person is more experienced. Even if you got your first class and that person got a third class, the real thing is the facts about life, this person has experienced more according to the jobs he has been doing, according to the these small, small things he has been handling and travels and all along, rather than you who has been fixed in class and theories and maybe simple practicals inside a laboratory or something like that. When you come outside, more experience are needed. So your personal statement, of course, contains different skills, different experiences, and even the years of experience that differs. And these are the things that you need in personal statement. So in personal statement, you can say that we can have three of them or four of them, maybe the college, the course, the university, the employee or the staff personal statement, the managerial, the leadership, the, cast, uh, the leadership or maybe the supervisory. If you're a supervisor, you are looking for a position as a supervisor. You are a leader, you are a manager, you have your own personal statement. Then the fresher, newly from graduate, you have personal statement. Now, what's a personal statement? Is a statement or is a paragraph, a concise paragraph uh, of or summary of your skills, abilities, and experiences. What makes a good personal statement? Good personal statement, of course, check on your grammars. Grammars must be clear, simple, and don't write difficult words in, uh, in personal statement that will make the hirer give high time to learn. Make sure they are simple. Give examples of related academic qualifications, academic skills, and experiences in relation to what you are going to do or position you are asking for. Don't be irrelevant. If you are a doctor, talk of medicinal kind of uh, skills. If you are a teacher, talk of teaching skills. If you are an engineer, talk of engineering skills. So personal statement specifically markets you in relation to specific job you are looking for. Then lastly, show or uh, make sure that you are the person writing that. You cannot write a personal statement for another person. You are talking about I, first person pronouns. You are talking about I have this, I qualified, I experience about this. So those are some of the high qualities of a personal statement. How long should it be? Another person asked me like that. How long should it be? Because if you look at for the CV is just a minute one, a small one, you see, it's just a small one. But now personal statement or, uh, uh, as its own, the other time I was looking about the UN page career site, one of the example they gave, some, 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 some hirers, they give you a limit, they tell you within 2,000 to 3,000 words, give us a personal statement between 550 to 1,000 words. So it depends, but maximum personal statement can even go as much as 4,000 words, that's too much. But believe me or not, personal statement has a lot to talk about you, has a lot to market about you. So the more words you have, the better. More relevant words, the better. But don't make it again too long. Mostly they give specific number. If they give you between 550 to 1,000, don't over exceed that one. Just make sure it's just a little in between, maybe 800 to 1,000 exactly. That is that. Now, seven things to avoid about that. For example, don't mingle around, just go straight to the word. Uh, it's all about yourself, talk about your own heroism heroism that is all the achievement what you have achieved or what you have acquired um, 
it's not something like a story, like the CV, the dates of qualification and everything upon No, this is a summary of the qualities that you have. Then uh, make sure it is focused. Uh, it leaves out personal growth. Don't leave out personal growth. That's what I say. What you expect in few years to come. That's personal development. What you expect to come. That's what is in personal statement. Then overcomplicated. Don't use complicated language. I know in my country we have a tribe called Luo. You will bring all jargons from everywhere. That somebody will need a dictionary to define. Please, we have no time for that. Use simple, clear English that can be understood easily as simple as that. Then make sure grammar these basic errors avoid them because once i see poor grammatically arranged words i'm telling you we'll just roll you out we go to the next because you have a lot of applicants that are looking for that so make sure you are so detailed you are so specific you are clean you are neat font size and make sure it's there somebody asked is there heading for personal statement yes there is a heading and that heading might contain your name the name of the college the name of the course you are changing for example you can say engineering personal statement or kenyatta university personal statement so of course you're going to talk about yourself in that very good i hope that's a, uh, uh, at least now from there you can understand what we mean by a personal statement i have an example here that very fast because of time i can go through and in case you have a question please just make sure you hit my inbox and so that we can discuss more about that this is because of time and the restriction of the video length i'm trying to be a bit faster and clear and all that but all these things i normally post them in my facebook page especially all this writing you will get them there in case you want them so make sure you become my follower and you get all that now let's go over this personal statement for leadership or supervisor or let me say this just a general one but not a fresher it's not changing of the cause general personal statement that we can look especially for the interview you are a staff you want a job what kind of personal statement can you have or can you send to somebody i'm going to read very fast because it's something i drafted okay this is myself and some of them are true facts so not, nothing like lying here I am committed, self-driven, professional, and high-performing leader who always owns responsibility for everything that happens in the team I lead or in the team I work at. I am result-oriented, I am dynamic, optimistic, and highly organized HR personnel, staff, customer service, whichever the leadership you are applying for, you put it there, with extra administrative and humanitarian skills for over five years experience with the two years experience in international schools management and over three years in a busy world-class airport aviation industry managing security administration and management i have applied for this position because i believe strongly i already have the necessary attributes skills experiences to not only achieve the strategically set goals of your organization but also to feel contented and help you the company move forward through renovation innovation drive and creativity being a strong committed and confident leader i understand there is requirement with this role to engineer, direct, and influence others to achieve the company's objectives. Because this job involves pressure. As a leader, I keep myself calm and focus on multitasking while being patient. To give you testimonial and attestation of my ability to lead, in a previous role, I was required to manage and direct a difficult and unruly team of staffs achieving challenges project uh, achieving uh, to achieve i was given opportunity to lead that team that was unruly and hard to work with to achieve challenging projects on a recurring basis not only once recurring basis when i started to lead the team i first created motivation system and direction for the team i then set the performance attribute for all the team members in all the time, I was consistent in my leadership style, delegation of task, to team members based on strength, attitudes, and passion. 
AI engineered and led numerous and vigorous training and development and team buildings that catapulted or moved many staffs to higher position, get well motivated, equipped and retainable. I was among the management team at Hamad International Airport, Doha, that worked strategically to steer the airport to the sixth best airport in the world in the year 2017, attaining the highest rank ever, five-star status, according to the Skytrack company. As your leader, I will maintain your position by insisting on the highest quality performance and I will never shy away from making difficult decisions for the best interest of the company. Remember, I told you in the CV, we are supposed, in the cover letter, we are supposed to be talking from the views of the company. So your target is to help the company, not you helping yourself. So that's why I'm too much of seeing you going up, my company, my company. If you hire me, it will be a great platform to showcase my skills, goals, uh, skills, goals, uh, skills, sorry. If you hire me, it will be a great platform to showcase my skills. Goals I set, I ensure to complete them within stipulated time for better client, customer, employer, and my satisfaction. I possess attested academic skills and knowledge in leadership, problem solving, and crisis management. I am therefore the best fit for this position. Wonderful. There is no thank you, there is no goodbye, even though they sound well, they sound humble, but there is no need of greetings. I did not start by the word hello. Then as you finish, we don't finish by thank you, may God bless you. Those words are so nice, but they don't have any value in personal statement because already they are in the cover letter. So here is just an upload of the cover letter or the opening statements in the CV that we have uprooted and put somewhere else. So no greetings, no thank you notes at the end. No sincere, no you are faithful, then your name again. Nothing like that. This is not a letter. It's just a summary of your qualification and the reason as to why you should be hired. With that, let's mark this one the end. Let's meet in the next episode. Maybe I will work on a video talking about a college personal statement or a fresher personal statement. We will see how the attitude is. Sometimes also you do research and when you, by the even this is not what I prepared to, 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 to present today. I had another presentation, but how attitude is and how morale is according to that day, that's what we do. Otherwise, see you next time. Make sure you subscribe. I am your tutor, Mark Anedo.